here and uh, Chavanel looks like he's chugging. Norhoud had a roll of the dice but uh, the, tr the powertrain is starting to build behind them here. Well, it's uh, pick your options in the road. The yellow jersey is here. They've done a good job of protecting him and making sure that he's uh, up the road. I'm just fighting to see Peter Sagan. I think he's there, Sean. Yes, uh, certainly has to be there. If he was losing contact, we would have seen him uh, on the climb. Um, and we can see that uh, there's quite a few of the calendars. Cannondale's just hanging about there, and that's going to be uh, what they're going to do for the moment. Leave Radio Shack, control the situation, take it up at the final moment. Well, we'll see. And uh, right now, it's uh, Radio Shack that's doing the pacing for everybody. Now, this bodes uh, well for our escapees. Uh, we've got a switch champion here as well, Michael Shah, very much in the frame, uh, coming to the fore. And Matthew Goss is also there on the left-hand side. We can see him there just uh, in wow. the shadow of uh, the Radio Shack, rather. Well, I think he's then a shoe-in favourite for today, Matt Goss. We will see. Uh, he and Peter Sagan are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe by the looks of things. Uh, still haven't got a uh, full affirmation that Peter Sagan is here, but the way that Cannondale are riding, we assume he is. Uh, just got sight of him right now. So Sagan is here, so is Matt Goss. Uh, 2.7 kilometres to go. Uh, they take it into the bend. This is very good work by Orica Greenedge in their uh, uh, white, green and blue at the nose at the moment. BMC also very much involved. Uh, still can't see uh, Philip Gilbert, but I, there he is. Uh, Philip Gilbert is uh, there and he's a quick man in a situation such as this after a bad day. Argus Shimano also represented and coming up uh, fast on the outside and it's time to kick off is it and uh, take the spoils yes um, well of course their sprinters are not here so they have to play the role of you know going in the attack uh, and uh, try and you know uh, uh, just get away before the sprint actually starts but it's going to be an impossible task here as we can see these teams always wanting to uh, you know uh, prepare the sprint for their uh, for their for the main men yeah absolutely is it Vila's who's uh, decided to have a go here uh, just get off the front with 1.9 to go I think it's uh, ultimately doomed as uh, we look just uh, further behind uh, this is that little left hand I was talking about at 1800 metres uh, Peter Sagan's in a great position here he's got a lead out man as well it's a bit of a pinch point and all these guys are not going to be part of proceedings uh, just backing out of it there after doing his job Cameron Meyer he was part of the churn early on this is very very good work and uh, 1.5 1500 metres to go I think uh, it's uh, Tom Dumoulin, in fact. There he is. Oh, goodness me. Well, uh, for, you, you trust what you can get here. 13, uh, uh, 1.3 kilometres to go. Uh, I think he's doomed. Now, the pace is starting to light up. Uh, surely Ferrari's not here, but Favilli, I think, might be for Lamprey. And he's still a quick man. Flam Rouge beckons here. There it is. Now's the time to inject the pace if you've got anything left. They're still looking at each other here, Sean. Yes. And now finally the action. Yes, uh, they're all just waiting not to take it up too early. As we can see, there's a number of teams here. Cannondale is starting to take it up for Sagan here at the moment. So, Peter Sagan, uh, there he is in position two at the moment. Uh, there is uh, the world champion's jersey as well of Philippe Gilbert, very much in the frame. They're all looking at each other at the moment. When are they going to break? Any moment now, Kwiatkowski's there and so is uh, Matt Goss. Can he possibly just light the blue touch paper? Any moment now, Sagan's taken that crest nicely. Now uh, there is still time, still time, but uh, for others to get back, he still sits up at the pace. One, two, three corners left. Anything left, if you've got it, you better deliver right now. As we see, Gerrans there in second position being lead, led out by Modelica Radis. So Simon Gerrans with his uh, little triangular visage tries to hit it. So does the world champion, Philip Gilbert. Sagan, has he recovered sufficiently? And Sagan shows his face right now. He's over at the left-hand side of the road. Oh, and I think he might just have got beaten there. That was unbelievable stuff at the line. Photo finish yet again today. And I think Orica Greenedge have actually made this their own shot. Yes. That was so tight. Yes. Gerrans. Simon Gerrans takes it at the line. Quality will out, and it did. Sagan still with a deficit from earlier on, and his fall onto the back. Let's have a look at it. There's the reach. He did it. Well, Orica Greenedge have made today, and indeed this Tour de France, something special. Look at this. That was very, very good fighting. Good battling by them. Uh, distance, Philippe Gilbert in the rainbow jersey. Uh, it was all about Sagan versus Gerrans at the line. Watch for the lunge here from the camera. Sagan just couldn't get up. Denied again. Second, second place for Peter Sagan.
yes um, what a sprint by Gerrans and a great lead out by his uh, uh, by his teammate there and um, and you know just held off Sagan Sagan was coming back at him but uh, yes won uh, comfortably there it looked close up on the head on shot but as we can see there uh, a great victory for uh, Simon Gerrans and uh, Ulrika Greenage their first win in the Tour of France